and we're staying at a hotel called Mama Shelter. Uh, it's one of the, the ones listed on the, uh, the official kind of info sheet that you get for each comp. Uh, it's pretty cool, there's a lot of other teams staying here, We've already bumped into the Americans. It's kind of weird to think that just like a couple, like a couple weeks ago we were in Salt Lake, which already feels so long away now, but yeah. Where we're going to be based for the next few days, and it's a really cool area, good restaurants, and yeah, it's nice. So rest day today in Prague, just gonna hop on some scooters and go check out um, just a bit of Prague. Gonna go see the venue, get our bearings for tomorrow morning because we've got to be up bright and early. Qualifications are very early. Uh, go check out some of the sightseeing locations. There's a cool river, grab a coffee or something, and yeah, chill day really. Just got to the venue and it's great to see that it's all been covered up. Uh, I always go out the day before and just get, get a few bearings of uh, where we need to be and where ISO is gonna be. Uh, it's an early start tomorrow, so I don't want to be messing around trying to figure out where to go. So, know where I'm going now. Uh, the venue's looking really good. It's a really cool place, outdoor, nice wall. Uh, so yeah, all psyched for tomorrow. Hello. <laughs> hey, 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 thanks. Yeah, I'm good. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm very sandwiched up. That's all right, yeah. <laughs> Mate, congratulations on last week. Oh, thank you. I have this scene in my vlog, watch my vlog, where the entire <laughs> British team got to Yeah, yeah, that was nice. Uh, the after comp kind of team hug. Yeah. Experience. <laughs> Are you feeling strong for this week? Yeah, really excited. Yeah, it's a cool venue. So I've seen the finals yeah. bowl. It's the right price. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. What what is that price? I can't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm not right. Field looks massive. So really excited. Yeah, over 100 people. It's gonna be good. Good luck, man. Yeah. Time for coffee. It's great going out to see so many cool places comps and stuff. Uh, in Prague right now, just, just came out for about a couple minutes and already found this pretty cool spot, like very picturesque. Prague looks like a really cool city, so yeah, it's always the highlight of kind of the rest days. Just getting ready to head into ISO and I've got another accreditation to add to the collection. It's quite nice, similar to the one from Salt Lake, so. Got a big collection building. Just heading into ISO now, really psyched. Um, hopefully there's some cool boulders, and yeah, I just can't wait to get on them.
I've just finished my qualification round in Prague and it was a really good round for me. I had to take a lot of attempts, uh, a lot of the boulders I had to kind of properly yeah, take a lot of effort to get, but I got four top five zones. That's putting me comfortably into the semi-final and what place I'll be, I don't know, but yeah, I'm really happy. I'm currently in second um, behind Tomoa again. The, but, um, the top half of the group have already competed, so it's not likely to hugely change, but you never know. So second for now, but it could change. Qualifications are now over and I got third in my group, uh, four tops, five zones, so very safely into the semi-finals. The round today started at 9am, which might not seem too late, um, too early, sorry, but when you look at when you actually have to be there, because I've got a, quite a, a decent world ranking right now, it means I'm climbing, I think I was out seventh this time, so uh, isolation opens at seven, um, closes at eight and round starts at nine. So when you, well, I take around two hours to warm up. So really I, I'm having to get in to isolation for just past 7 a.m. And that means normally getting, get, getting up at 6 a.m. So yeah, today I got up at 6 a.m. in ISO for just after seven, two hours to warm up and then climbing at around nine, 9.20, 9.30. So yeah, it was brutal. Coffee is definitely required. That's basically what keeps me, <laughs> It's basically what gets me going in the morning. Uh, so it'll be nice to wake up tomorrow and have a more chilled start. Back at the hotel, just chilling out, trying to recover uh, for tomorrow. There's two days of intense competition. You've got to get the recovery right. Managing my skin, getting some moisture into it so it recovers well. I've got some battle wounds from the really rough wall. Um, the wall's really, really textured, so every time you brush your hand against it, it properly damages your knuckles and bruises you. I'm really enjoying my time in Prague. I really like the city. Uh, the venue is really, really cool. They've put a great, they've put a lot of effort into it. There's a big stadium, a lot of, a lot of places to watch the competition. Good food stands, coffee. Uh, yeah, they've put a lot, of, a lot of effort into it, and it's really cool to see. Very busy isolation this time. A lot of big names in there who weren't in the previous ones. You got um, Adam Andre, Alex Megos, these big people floating about, and it's, it's so nice to be in ISO with them. I was coming out quite early because I've, I've done the previous competition, so I had quite a lot of ranking points, which was quite nice. Uh, so it was really cool to be out with kind of the big dogs. Um, yeah, it felt really good. In between your transitions in the cool zone, you have five minutes off. So you have five minutes on a boulder and then five minutes off a boulder. And everyone's got really different strategies for what they do in the five minutes off. Some people like to listen to music. Some people like, like to really psych themselves up. Some people just kind of like sit there and chill a bit. Um, I'm more of kind of like, I like just chilling out and just sitting there, get, get the fan on my hands and just kind of chill out. You see a lot of people getting a bit uh, kind of angry, wound up, or just, all the emotions are back there. So everything you don't see out on the stage is happening um, at the back. So it's kind of like an intense zone uh, back there, but yeah, it's cool. What's pretty crazy is how many is how many really big names you're seeing out of the semi-final. There's only 20 places available for the semi-final and there's way more than 20, uh, 20 really strong climbers here. So you've got over 20, 30 names, which you would expect to be in a semi-final every now and then uh, who, who aren't in. So yeah, it's a very tough field. So really happy to be um, in the semi-finals. You could almost make up a whole nother typical semi-final from the people who weren't in that semi-final, in this semi-final. So really crazy to think about that. Gonna rest today, uh, cheer on the GB women. I think I'll uh, just keep a, keep an eye out on the scores and uh, because it's quite hot down at the venue right now. Uh, just gonna stay here, recover. Hopefully we get some semi-finalists from the women. I'm in a semis with uh, Max Milne. Yeah, I do a lot of training with him, so it's really nice to be in the semi-final. So hopefully we'll be, we'll be on our way to finals. And, uh, but yeah, we'll see, I'm really psyched. He's really psyched as well, so. It's a really good team vibe out here. There's a lot of people who I train with, so in competition and out of competition, it's just so nice to have uh, your friends and your mates there who you can go and train with, whether it goes well or not. So yeah, the team atmosphere is always so nice and the coaches are, are always really supportive and nice and I get along, um, get along with them really well, so. Off the semis, uh, 12 o'clock tomorrow, 12, uh, uh, noon, so 
chilled out morning, grabbed some breakfast. It was really early today and I, I, not a huge fan of the really early morning, so it'll be nice to have a, a slightly more chilled um, start to the day. I'm coming out 15th, I think, so decent weight in um, isolation, and hopefully we get some really cool boulders for, for semi-final, hard and cool. All right, time to head into ISO. Uh, should have a decent weight as I qualified quite late. Um, but yeah, I'm psyched. Be happy <laughs> and blind. Well, I'm just pressed for Toby. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. Um, yeah, good luck. <laughs> Coming out to Boulder One, it was on the steepest part of the steepest part of the wall, and it was a massive campus coordination type thing. Uh, it's not something I've had a huge amount of practice on, but I made a bit of progress on it and I did quite, get quite close in the end to sticking the move. So I'm happy with my progress on it, but it's something that I can go and work on um, in training. I previously said that coming out onto a semi-final qualifier boulder, the last thing I want is a, is a, is a massive paddle that uh, would destroy my skin. But as I've put so much work into uh, managing it and keeping it good during my training, uh, it handled it really well and I didn't have any visible damage on my skin. Five minutes back and I had to recover from the first boulder and coming out to boulder two it was a I was really happy with uh, what, what it was it was a massive power massive power boulder big moves completely in my style and I managed to flash it which I'm really happy with. Bit of a fight, I was on it for about a minute, uh, just over a minute, but a flash on that I'm really psyched with it. It shows that my physical um, uh, my physical kind of condition is really good. Uh, just need to iron out a few kind of uh, almost inconsistencies, but uh, yeah, I'm really happy. Topping up uh, Boulder 2, I, I completely missed the, the foothold once I stuck the last move, so I used the jib to do one of the moves and then completely just forgot about it once I did the last move. So it made the match way harder. So even topping it with a, without one of the footholds, uh, I was happy with because it shows that um, my power is in, in, good, in a good place. Another five minutes in uh, the cool zone and then back out for boulder three. And that was big kind of swing down onto a volume into two kind of decent holds. It took me a couple attempts to do the first move, as that sort of style usually does. I think it often takes people quite a few attempts to nail it, but once I got the move, I was able to get back there um, every time. But the top of the boulder was really hard. It featured a really bad pinch, which you had to basically take all your weight on and then go get a high heel hook and then go again to the finish move, which I didn't manage to do. I felt if I really committed for it, I might have been able to do it, but I was way too hesitant. And looking back on it, it's a big thing to be taking into the next comps is that I need to be more confident and go for it more. Because I think if I just got that, I felt good on the pinch, I felt strong on it. I think if I got that, got the heel on, went to the gas on and just went straight for it, I would have got it, no problems. But I hesitated, got a bit tired, the hold got a bit sweaty. And that's usually one of the big things in comp climbing. If you're not confident and you don't, uh, just believe you can do it first try then yeah then you won't get the boulder going on to boulder four i didn't know what the scores or anything were but it turned out that top on this boulder would have uh, put me into finals but this boulder man oh god it was a nightmare i <laughs> the, the first move i think a lot of people had a similar experience to me on it so it's not like it was just me but i spent so many goes on that first move and by the end i was basically just laughing going oh my god I cannot do this boulder for my life. The first, I, the first move was just so tricky. If you look through the scores, there's people with getting the zone on it or getting a top on it in like 15, 20 attempts. So it's just one of those boulders, really techy slab, little hop across with a foot, foot switch, which was so niche, such a strange move. And yeah, I just basically must have had like 20, 25 goes on that boulder and got nowhere on it, but it was, it was nice. It's, it's something to take into the next comps but I feel, I feel that you're gonna get boulders like that every now and then, which just aren't gonna necessarily go your way. It was a tough slab and obviously I was getting nowhere on it, but the crowd was just incredible. And climbing on that slab, even though I wasn't having the best time in terms of climbing, 
uh, it was great to be out on the mats in front of that crowd. I'm back from my semi-final round in Prague and I, I didn't have the best uh, round. Uh, I got one top and two zones. Uh, the, I found the boulders were really uh, kind of dynamic and strange slab, but I got a good top on the power boulder, which I'm happy with, uh, but finishing in 15th, um, 15th place, which isn't too bad, but yeah, definitely would have been nice to be in the final. There's a lot to break down in a five minute period. There's so many different things you can do. There's a lot of different tactics and that five minutes really does go quickly and you need to make the most efficient use of your time. And that's uh, what, you, what, you have to, what you have to do to be a great comp climber is be able to have a boulder and then work it out as quickly as possible, find a method that works and then just completely go for it 100%. Post round uh, in Prague, I can't say I'm like really happy with my result, but it's not, it's definitely a good result. It's my first season coming from such a big high in Salt Lake. I think there's always a chance that like, after coming from a big high, sometimes you can have a massive low and I didn't have that. I had like a, this has been a really solid comp. I've got a lot of experience. I made the semi-final. It's been one of the most competitive comps of the year. A huge amount of entrants, a lot of big names here. I feel looking back on the semi-final, I did, I put in a really good, I put in a good performance and I, I did the the powerful boulder, which I'm happy with. There's a lot to take into Brixen, which I'm really, really psyched for. I'm looking forward to going again. But it's a long season, there's a lot more comps. Uh, lead season is coming up, which I'm incredibly psyched for. I really can't wait for the Innsbruck lead. I feel that that's, that's gonna be a great competition and I can't wait. But yeah, it's been good, good time in Prague. A good comp and I'm happy in general. Immediately after the comp, it's always hard because you're so emotional and you're in that state of, oh, if only I did this, if only I did that. So immediately after, I was a bit ups upset, frustrated, uh, as you usually after after something doesn't completely go your way. But I feel like it's been quite a quick turnaround. Normally, it can sometimes take me a bit longer to get over a result, which isn't necessarily what I wanted. But uh, looking back on it, just a couple hours after, uh, I'm really happy, and I felt it was a good competition, and I put, uh, got a lot of experience, uh, a lot more experience to take into the next competitions. Um, and yeah, I'm psyched to uh, see how the final goes, see what that's like. It's, it's really cool that um, all of the six uh, finalists are from a different nation, so it's a proper global battle, which is going to be really cool to watch. I feel like doing these videos is actually quite good for my uh, mental game. It's always easy just to kind of sit there and be a bit sulky and not say anything and not go through your round. But just sitting here and talking about what I was feeling and how it was going has been really beneficial. I even just sat here speaking, it's, it's like, speaking about how I felt and how it went, it already helps me break it down in my mind that um, actually it has been a good competition. And uh, yeah, so I guess, yeah, the, this has been really beneficial. So it's quite, it's quite cool. Already off and off to uh, Innsbruck tomorrow for my next stage of training. So finish the competition. I always like to get out, uh, get out of um, like the competition area as quickly as possible so you can start to recover because it's not long till the next one. So leaving for Innsbruck tomorrow morning, five hour drive over there, rest day tomorrow, straight into a bit of training and then a short drive to Brixen. And then before I know it, I'll be on the mats for qualifications. And that's what's really cool about these seasons is there's always another chance. Right now at this stage of the season, uh, four comps in and I've, it's not 100% confirmed, but basically I'm in the Olympic qualifier series by how many points I've already got. I'll just need to pull onto the, the lead routes basically. And then uh, I'll be in the OQS. So it's already really relaxed in, in that front. Yeah, I, if, you, if, I, if someone told me that at the start of this season, in uh, my first kind of Boulder World Cup season or, or first full um, senior World Cup season that I would be in this position by the fourth comp, yeah, I wouldn't have believed it. It's, it's been crazy. It's been a great start to my uh, kind of senior World Cup career. And I'm, I'm really happy the way it's going right now. I think right now I'm on track for top 10 in Boulder, which, which would be really nice. Obviously, that's no that's no easy feat, and it's going to be. I'm going to have to get some good results in the next comps. But yeah, I'll be really psyched to try and do that. Top ten would be a, would be really nice. Two more comps to go in Boulder, and then on to lead. Uh, and I'm really excited. I'm feeling really good. Um, and yeah, bring on the rest of the season. What's also really nice about uh, the top ten position is that it guarantees you a place for next season. So you almost have your own kind of place. Uh, which will be cool having your yeah going into next season with a guaranteed uh, place in boulder uh, 
is, is really cool because you don't have to worry about any sort of selection or anything. On to Innsbruck, then on to Brixen, then on to Innsbruck. Innsbruck, Brixen, Innsbruck. 